I'm out in the chicken yard here in the early winter, and in front of me is a pretty nondescript looking scenario that actually is pretty meaningful as far as our nursery is concerned. There are about two thirds of the total number of tree seeds that we'd like to grow next year buried in this context. And I took a bunch of videos as my dear friend Eric and I put this together a few weeks back explaining what the whole concept was. So hopefully that is compelling to check out. We had collected so many different types of tree seeds and in such volume that we had too many crates to store in our root cellar for sure. So Eric came to visit for a bunch of reasons and we worked on dealing with it. We started by identifying a spot in the chicken yard that made sense that we could clear out some of the old compost rings, harvest some of the compost, move that along and get an area to store these crates. Here, Eric is helping to move some of the more aged compost into a composting area, and we're gonna move that soil along and get the area graded and flattened so that it can receive the crates and then be insulated with leaves above. Just smoothing it out, and of course, the chickens are always very, very willing to plug in and lend a helping hand. Here, we're using the same basic structure for our compost bins of hoops with old boards. And now we're bringing a few crates along. Uh, in this case, it's three folding crates of pawpaw seed that are laid out in this area on the leveled ground. Here's some more crates coming in and you can see the framing is gonna evolve around it. And we put these tags on the side so once they're buried in leaves, we know what's going on. Here it's Japanese walnut, two of them, shagbark, hickory, Carpathian walnut. And then we're organizing the crates a bit more, getting the seeds consolidated. It was a mad rush to get seeds in the first place, but now we can actually get them uh, mixed. We can pull out old seeds and mix them with sawdust. Shagbark hickory and Japanese walnuts ready to go. And you can see we don't get fussy with cleaning seeds immaculately. We mix them with soil and sawdust and earthworms will do the cleaning in the winter. These are pawpaw seeds, they'll get cleaner as time goes on. There's some flies and there's some uh, pill bugs and everybody works to get the seed clean so we don't have to fuss around. We'll add a little bit of uh, charcoal from the wood stove if there's a lot of fruit and that helps keep it clean and low odor. Not a critical component, but it seems to help make some nice worm castings in the spring. This is a crate of pawpaw uh, fruit mixed with charcoal and wood chips. Even the hazelnuts, we let them stay in their husks. They're mixed with soil and in the moisture of winter stratification, the earthworms eat the husks away for the most part, and the seeds are beautiful in the spring. Saves a lot of time, lets us focus on harvesting seed rather than cleaning seed. Now we've got our insulation in the form of leaf bags that the neighborhood is so kind to spend their weekend harvesting and we're starting to dump those leaf bags in, burying these crates that are rodent protected. Got a whole bunch of leaf bags here. We ended up realizing a little later on that we overdid it with the leaf bags and overheated a bit. I'll talk about that more. Here's some more crates, uh, chestnuts, sunchokes, and apricot seed. The ladies are very interested and always willing to plug in in any way they can. Thank you, ladies. Here they're spreading some compost out over the crates before the leaves get put in. We had a couple very cold nights down in the low 20s, and so far it feels as though this is doing a really nice job. Early on, I think I had the leaves just a bit too deep on the north end there, and what happened was there was a bit of snow, and I saw the snow had melted very rapidly in the center. I pulled it back and I realized it was actually starting to compost with some heat. So I pulled a lot of those leaves off. We just have about two or three inches now. The rest is queued up right nearby, mixing with seed. The chickens can work through that and get some food value. And as we get colder, we can bury quite a bit more. So there's a, a thermostat that we can adjust in this context now by just moving leaves to and fro. But for now, for the next couple weeks or so, this should be good enough. The goal with this context behind me is to keep the crates and the contents therein from freezing, but staying nice and cool. I'll check on them periodically, especially if we have more intense weather, 
and it's relieving to know that we've got a big pile of leaves nearby. I've added some leaves on the north just to protect from the strongest winds and give us uh, an option of pulling extra mulch, extra insulation if we need that, if there's a cold snap. And hopefully this will hold these seeds in good stead until spring. And we can do an unboxing quote unquote video at that point and share notes on how this worked. But the insulation was free and will become soil in the future. And the infrastructure to hold them was uh, a rearrangement of a composting system we had anyway. And so the whole thing, reasonable to do. We'll see how it works. Not suggesting that it's the best way to go, but it's what we're doing. Let me know if you've got any questions uh, or comments or suggestions and we'll go from there. Thanks so much.